hi you guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog in today's video we're going to be doing an evening after work cook and clean with me i'm going to be showing you guys my grocery delivery haul from walmart plus i'm also going to be doing some meal prepping and giving you guys some tips on how to save money and doing some kitchen organization as well so if you like those type of videos please feel free to stick around like comment and subscribe the first thing I'm going to do to kick off this after work evening routine is I'm going to make dinner. On this particular night, I made some buffalo wings in the air fryer. I usually make this meal about once a week because this is one of Devin's favorite meals. Um, I'm right here, I'm just rinsing the chicken, drying it off real good before I season um, the wings. And then I'm going to pop them in the air fryer. I know the USDA recommends not to um, rinse your poetry off, but I, I I just can't help it. I grew up watching my parents rinse off their um, meat, and my dad also went one step further to soak it in a little bit of baking soda to get all the blood and stuff off. So leave a comment down below if you guys are one of those people that you soak, you wash your meat off before you... Um, cook it or you just cook it as is now that i've let these dry out a little bit i am going to season them i just use whatever i have on hand here i'm using paprika um garlic powder salt pepper i'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit um on e either side to give it a little bit more flavor you can just use whatever you have on hand once I'm done seasoning the wings, I like to toss them in a bowl and just uh, take my hands and just mix them all together so they can get seasoned really well. Once I'm done seasoning the wings, I put them in the air fryer. I spray them out a little bit so they can cook evenly on both sides. Um, when I cook these wings, I cook them at 360 degrees for 12 minutes on either side. I use this, a match cook setting so they can both cook at the same time. If you do not have a Ninja Air Fryer, I definitely recommend that you get one. I use mine every day. I like mine just for the simplicity of being able to cook two things at one time. Um, okay, here's the grocery portion of my haul. Um, I had to, I didn't want to put everything on the table because um, I would have to walk back and forth to put everything on the table. So I just spread stuff out around my kitchen no rhyme or reason um i'll start in this corner and then make my way around um of course we have the staples for Devin: um hamburger cheeseburger macaroni i got two of those um i got him some honey graham crackers i did a walmart pickup um first of all let me say i did a walmart plus um 30-day trial um, I really do think I'm going to try to keep it. I don't know if I'm going to buy the year for $100 because I don't know if I shop from Walmart enough to ju justify spending $100 on grocery pickup. But grocery delivery, and especially when I usually end up buying, as long as you buy $35 worth of stuff to pick up, it's free anyway. So... The only way I can see myself really using this is if I did delivery. Since you can pick up anyway, there's no point in really paying $100 for it. I may do $12.99 a month on the months that I actually use it because you can cancel. That's one thing about subscriptions. You can cancel at any time. So if you feel like you're not going to use it for a few months, cancel it and restart it when you need it. Okay, so back to the grocery haul. I got some cuties, oranges. You guys, I'm starting to find that this was actually cheaper than H-E-B. And H-E-B is supposed to be the cheapest. But H-E-B is getting kind of expensive. But I found better deals at Walmart. Ironically. So, yeah. These are cuties. Oranges. Um, I got four things of Crescent Rose. We eat a lot of Crescent Rose in my house. Um, I got two things of Jumbo Flaky Biscuits. Um, I got Devin two packs of strawberries for breakfast. Um, I got some gum to keep in my purse for at work. Um, I got a head of broccoli and some kale to go in my smoothies. 
Um, I picked up some chicken nuggets from him and some french fries. I got some ice cream. They were actually out of what I picked, so they gave me the substitution. Of course, I got my favorite coffee of all time, the Great Value Caramel Cream Coffee. I love these K-Cups. I've been buying them for quite a while now. I just picked up some chips for my lunch. Um, they gave me this butter pecan sir. This was a substitution, but I don't know about that one. We'll have to see. Um, some country thyme lit pink lemonade. Some Hormel chili with no beans. I was out of cooking spray, so I picked that up. Um, condiments, ranch, honey mustard, and tomatoes. To I'm sorry, ketchup. I always keep extra of this on deck because you know when you have condiments you seem to run out, out at the most inopportune time. So I always try to keep at least an extra one of these on deck. Um, some cooking oil. I was running low on sugar. Um, some roasted garlic and parmesan for my chicken alfredo that I make with spinach and tomatoes. I think I've been having sinus drainage like all day. I think the weather, uh, spring is starting to get to me. Okay, back to the haul. Um, I picked up Devin some Pop Secret Move Movie Theater Butter. He'll only eat movie theater butter unless I trick him and he doesn't know the difference. But he only wants movie theater butter. I don't know what goes on in his mind, but that's what he wants. I wanted to try out these McCormick farmer's market one sheet pan um seasoning packets because they don't sell these at um heb they only sell them at walmart so i want to pick those up i don't know why um gotta have my instant rice moving across the way um i got two packs of chicken legs these were five dollars a pack i'm going to bag these up and put them in the freezer. Um, these were only $4.97. I got two of those, because I we seem to run out of meat first. So I got two of those, I'm gonna half those up. I got a chub of ground meat, I'm going to uh, cut that up as well. Two packs of wieners, some monster cheese for my um, sandwiches. Of course, I got some smoked sausage. Love some Earl Campbell's. Support black businesses. Um, also, I got some mesquite turkey breast for my breakfast. I mean, sorry, for my lunches to take to work. We're on a budget this month because I got a lot coming up for my birthday, Devin's graduation. So, yeah. Um, that's food. Um, here I got these little packs of smoothie mixes. Um, red fruit smoothie, green fruit, fruit smoothie. I'm gonna add that kale that you guys just saw to this and I'm gonna start taking this for breakfast in the morning instead of always drinking coffee. Um, I got some boneless skinless chicken thighs for my sheet pan meals. And I got some more chicken thighs. Um, I'm going to um, bag half, half these up and bag them up in Ziploc bags. I love this vanilla caramel creamer. It is so good. I know creamer is not good in your coffee, but I love it. Um, I also got two things of juice for me. And, oh, that's it. So this is everything that I got in my grocery haul. And believe it or not, we're about to go get food because I'm not cooking. As you can see, it is seven o'clock and I am not about to put this stuff away. Then turn around and cook and clean the kitchen and all that stuff. So the great thing about it is I did not have to grocery shop. They did it for me. I left a tip for the, the lady that came and got, um, Dropped it off because it's hot. I live on the second floor. She had to come up multiple times to bring the bags because they pack, Walmart packed their bags small. So yeah, she had to make multiple trips. So I made sure to give her a tip. Um, she said, don't worry about it. She had, got, she's like, don't worry about it. I just got a good workout. 
but I just felt like the right thing to do was to leave her a tip because she's using her car to deliver stuff and it's wearing and tear on her car. And if she's doing delivery, she obviously needs the money as we do, as all as we all do. So I made sure to leave her a tip, even though this was just a free trial. So yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed the little haul. And I will see you guys in the next video. My first money saving tip is to stock up on pantry items like beans and rice. Beans and rice are so versatile and you can use them in many um, recipes such as burrito bowls or chicken tortilla soup in a crock pot. So yeah, make sure you're stocking up on your pantry staple like your beans, your rices, your oatmeal and your lentils. My next money saving tip is to invest in food um, storage containers. I do like these Rubbermaid Freshworks containers. They help to keep your fruits and vegetables um, fresher a little bit longer because they have that little insert at the bottom where it keeps the moisture away from your food. So I like to use these for my um, fruit and my produce. Um, especially my strawberries because as you know those can go bad pretty quick and Devin loves strawberries so yeah use some type of containers to keep your produce fresh here I'm cutting the end of the um, kale stems off because I can't get them to fit in the Ziploc bag. Another tip that I learned in um, my days of working in a restaurant is to give your green leafy vegetables such as your kale and your lettuce a good ice bath um, that helps keep them crisper and they last a little bit longer. We used to do this in the restaurant all the time when I used to prep the salad bar. So yeah, make sure you give your um, green leafy vegetables a good wash and give them a good ice bath. I would say soak them for about 15 or 20 minutes. One more thing that I would recommend that if you don't have one, I would definitely suggest purchasing one. That would be a salad spinner to help wring out the moisture once you're done with your kale or lettuce mix. It definitely helps to keep your um, lettuce mix and kale fresher a little bit longer. Next, I'm going to refill my K-cup container. If you're not a fan of K-cups, if you find them to be super wasteful or too expensive, um, I would definitely recommend men using the reusable K-cup pods. All you would need is just some fresh ground coffee and you could brew your coffee the same way you could as if you had one of these K-cups. I know I've said this before in one of my previous videos, but I have kind of slacked off from buying potato chips. They're getting pretty pricey and Devin likes name brand chips such as barbecue chips. Uh, hot cheetos cool ranch doritos and those chips are getting to be like almost five dollars a bag and as you know most of the bags are full of air and Devin he can pretty much eat a bag in a day by himself so what i do now is just buy popcorn graham crackers animal crackers um ritz crackers to substitute from buying potato chips all the time also you guys don't sleep on your store brand items like your store brand um like great value up and up favorite day things of that nature don't skip on your store brand items because i swear walmart has some great value chips that are less than two dollars a bag that taste exactly like the lays barbecue chips um, that Devin loves and I found him that he was eating those one day because I bought them for myself for lunch So please do not sleep on your store brand items because not everything has to be name brand I'm definitely not knocking anyone that only buys name brand items But I'm telling you guys sometimes you can get just as good quality in uh, store brand items as you can name brands i don't know if you what guys watch jordan page but and um rachel rachel ray also said this as well like these um name brand and generic store items are sometimes made in the same factory they just get a different label but it's the exact same item so please don't sleep on your store brand generic items when i buy like family packs of um 
meat or bags of meat i like to pre-portion them out by using ziploc bags it is only devin and i so it does not make sense for me to have this big bag just um sitting out because we're not going to eat this whole bag at one time by ourselves so i like to take ziploc bags and just pre-portion out the meat and that way when i get ready to use them i just grab a bag out of the freezer and we're good to go i only put what i think Devin and, and i will eat for one particular meal and then i freeze the rest once i've used a ziploc bag i know this is frowned upon on um for by some people but i don't like to throw them away if they're still in good shape i like to uh clean them out with warm soapy water and then reuse them um again um i just find that it's super wasteful to only use a ziploc bag once if there's nothing wrong with it so one thing that i do make a rule of is i do not cross contaminate my ziploc bags if that makes sense if i use a ziploc bag to put um poultry in one bag that's what i continue to use that bag for i do not put like something like strawberries or something in that bag just to keep down the look the ickiness of you know what was in the bag previously next i'm going to do the same thing with my ground meat that you guys saw me do with my chicken i'm going to take this five pound chub and i'm going to pre-portion it out into about one pound each section that i cut i'm going to wrap these in foil and then i'm going to place them in quart size ziploc bags that way if i have a meal that calls for a pound of ground beef i'll already have it pre-cut and ready to go another tip when using ground beef is sometimes you can go ahead if you feel like it and just pre-cook your ground beef just cook up a big big batch brown it and season it and put it in a ziploc bag and freeze it and that way if you have a recipe that calls for um, a pound or whatever of um browned ground beef or turkey or whatever ground chuck you already have it pre-cooked all you have to do is just thaw it out throw it in a bag and you know one thing about ground beef is you can even thaw it cook it while it's frozen so yeah you can um pre-cook your ground beef pre-season it put it in the freezer and then just pull it out whenever you have a meal that calls for ground beef guys i don't know where i have been what planet i have been on but i have been sleeping on these frozen diced um onions i've been buying onions fresh dicing them up you know wasting half an onion only needing a little bit these diced onions are a game changer when you're cooking all you got to do is take them out the fridge store food into whatever you're cooking and you are good to go now that dinner is served it is getting late and it is time to clean up and get ready for bed this is the part where i wish i had a second set of hands besides devin um to help out because it would definitely go a lot faster and i would actually be able to get in the bed at a decent time but that's okay we're just gonna make it do what it do i'm going to clean up real quick and then we are going to call it a night now that i'm done putting away the dishes i'm going to sanitize and wipe down my countertops really well um since i've been working with meat i don't want to have any cross contamination 
um here i'm using my lysol cleaning spray um i don't like to use um that in my kitchen since it does have chemicals in it i don't like to use lysol or clorox or anything of that nature i like to use more all natural cleaners such as everspring and mrs i'm sorry and method but i'm out of that so that will have to do as you guys just saw i'm using my safely um cleaning all-purpose cleaning spray i do love this stuff the smell lingers it cleans really well i'm not sure if it sanitizes but i do use it for like my stove and greasy areas but yeah i'm going to try the laundry detergent and um glass cleaner as well since i don't buy sodas anymore we drink a lot of juice and a lot of water in my household um devin loves water he drinks water now um before he'll drink any type of juice it used to be the other way around so here i'm just making some um juice some pink lemonade just so he can have on hand um i used to drink sodas like it was insane how much i used to drink sodas i would drink them so much to my face would actually start breaking out and so now I've completely shot away from sodas and I don't even buy them anymore. last thing i'm going to do is go through my mail um i'm really bad or not about not checking my mailbox on a regular basis since we don't get our mail delivered to our door because i live in an apartment unfortunately and so you have to go to the actual mailbox um little center to get our mail so i'm really bad about only checking my mail once or twice a week um so it starts to kind of pile up so i'm going to go through this and make sure i don't have anything that's urgent um if you see me doing this little shimmy that you see coming up um i actually got a little check a refund check for 15 dollars 72 i don't know why i was just happy i was like heck yeah i'm gonna take that 15 dollars 72 and put it in my gas tank and that's exactly what i did um hey i don't discriminate if i'm owed a refund no matter how great or small i want it and every little bit helps all right you guys we have come to the end of this video i hope you guys have enjoyed it and if you haven't already please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and please don't take anything that i say here today as gospel everyone has their own way of doing things you just have to do what what, what works best for you this is just what works best for me um so yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in the next one